What's up everybody, Original151 here, and welcome to episode 13 of my Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. And in today's episode, we will be battling our rival in the Pokemon Tower, and then we will be making our way to Celadon City. I am hyped! And if you guys are hyped, make sure you destroy that like button. Let's try to break a like goal of 75 likes in today's episode. Now, before we get started in today's episode, I want to give you guys a very quick team recap because we did move some Pokemon around. Some Pokemon evolved in the last episode. Some Pokemon learned some new moves in the last episode. The hype is real, so let's get started with this team recap. Starting things off, we have Asshole, the Soul Rock at level 34 with the moves Double Edge, Cosmic Power, Confusion, and Rock Throw. Next up is Kathleen the Prime Ape at level 26 with the moves Karate Chop, Focus Energy, Low Kick, and Seismic Toss. Next up is Angela the Dugong. Angela has evolved into a Dugong finally, ladies and gentlemen, at level 34 with the moves Headbutt, Sheer Cold, Lock On, and Aurora Beam. That moveset is redonkulous. Next up is Pyro, our starter Pokemon, the Quellava at level 30 with the moves Ember Leer, Smoke Screen, and Quick Attack. Next up, we have Kristen, the Banette, the Banet. I still don't know how you pronounce this thing's name. At level 16, with the moves, Knock Off, Screech, Nightshade, and Curse. And finally, the newest addition to the team, Vivian, the Marowak. At level 17, with the moves, Tail Whip, Bone Club, Headbutt, and Leer. Now, I thought about it. Brianna was on the team. And the only reason why I swapped out Brianna for Vivian is because we already have Angela on the team, and Angela is a water and ice type, so to have two Pokemon with the water typing on our team, I didn't think that was completely necessary for now, at least at this stage in the game. So now our team is looking a lot more diverse with Vivian because we have a Rock and Psychic, we have a Fighting, we have a Water and Ice, we have a Fire, we have a Ghost, and we have a Ground type. So the team is looking good right now. I may add Brianna back to the team later on. We'll see what happens. You never know in a Nuzlocke things are always changing so without further ado let's come inside of the pokemon tower and i love the music here in the pokemon tower <laughs> time to bow our rival okay let's bring it on asteroid hey Vinny, what brings you here man is your pokemon dead do you need to bury your pokemon i'm mourning your loss bro peace be with you man hey it's a lot i can at least make them feel let's go Asteroid, relax, okay? Relax, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, the hype is real, everyone's in good spirits, you have a Quagsire at level 25, we're sending out Asshole at level 34, I'm gonna switch out and I'm gonna go over to... Let's go over, you know what, let's stay in, I know this thing has typing advantage on us, but let's go for a confusion and see how much damage that does to this Quagsire. And Quagsire surprisingly eats it up. And Quagsire is confused. Are you gonna hit yourself? Please hit yourself. Quagsire uses Mudshot. Now, that is super effective, and that does a lot more damage than I would have hoped. And we get a speed drop, so I'm gonna have to switch out here. I'm going over to Angela, just to play it safe. And Quagsire is confused, but hurts himself in confusion. That's what I like to see. Let's go for a headbutt, and this should take down this Quagsire. It does not! But we pick up the flinch, and I completely forgot, now that Angela has evolved, her attack stat is really low, but her special attacking stat is really high. So we're going to have to teach her a really powerful special attacking type move. Here comes a Smeargle. I'm going to go out to Vivian to take down... Oh, look at that sprite. Look at that powerful sprite. Smeargle's coming in. I didn't even check out Vivian's stats. I have to do that. Uh, let's go for a Bone Club, see how much damage that does. Does a good amount of damage. You're gonna sketch me now, and you're gonna learn my move, Bone Club, right? Or all my moves. Yep, you sketched Bone Club. All right, one of my moves. So because of this, I am gonna switch out, and I'm gonna go on over to I'm gonna go over to Kathleen. And I'm gonna let Kathleen take down this Smeargle. So Bone Club misses, and we're gonna go for let's go for a Karate Chop. See how much damage that does. It is super effective, and it's going to take out the Smeargle, and we get a critical hit. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Update for you guys. I did see Deadpool, and I did see Zoolander 2, and I loved both of them. Here's what I'll say about Deadpool. Deadpool was literally incredible. Like, I have no complaints about Deadpool. It was entertaining. It was fun. It was hilarious. It was such a unique comic book movie. I absolutely loved it. Go see it. I highly recommend it. I give it a 10 out of 10. It was an amazing movie. One of my favorite comic book movies, if not my favorite comic book movie to this day, to this date. And I mean that. 
probably it is my favorite comic book movie. I'm completely Deadpool obsessed right now. I loved it. These are just little short reviews I'm throwing at you guys. Zoolander 2. Now, I know Zoolander 2 has been getting a ton of heat online by critics and by fans. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I absolutely loved Zoolander 2. I thought it was hilarious. Here's the thing with Zoolander 2. In my opinion, if you loved the first Zoolander, I really think you're gonna love this Zoolander. I mean, that's my opinion. I loved the first Zoolander, and I thought this Zoolander was absolutely incredible. I laughed my ass off. I thought the story was hilarious. And that's what everyone keeps saying, how it's a stupid plot. But people forget that the first Zoolander had a very stupid plot. Both movies are stupid. And because this is a sequel, they definitely tried to go more stupid more big, more larger scale of things, and it definitely was dumb. The plot was dumb, but it worked for Zoolander. I, I personally, I love it. I mean, film is sub subjective, so you could like something that I hate, I could hate something that you like. We're asleep, which is annoying. Do I have any awakenings? Do I have any awakenings? I don't think I do, but I do have some high-quality H2O. And it looks like I have no awakenings. Okay, so we're just gonna have to wake up the old-fashioned way by using the speed-up button! And he's got an unknown! Alright, I see what you're doing there, big dog. Uh, let's go out to Pyro to take down this unknown. So yeah, I'm going out to dinner. I Right now it's 6.12 p.m., right? I have to be at the restaurant at 7. So I really gotta make... I gotta keep things moving right now in this episode because I it probably won't be the longest of episodes. But I promise you guys I will get this up for you guys on Saturday. Today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Thank you for showing some... Thank you for showing love and support on every single episode. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah! I love you. Anyway, so I gotta go to dinner at 7. Let's read Asteroid's dialogue in a fun and creative way. How's your Pokedex coming? I just saw a cue bomb. Well, I got a Marowak on my team, motherfucker. What's up? Happy Valentine's Day. I can't find the bigger Marowak. What could they be? Oh, shit, you got one in your team. That's crazy, man. I respect you. Not only that, I want to model myself after you, Vinny. You so gangster, Vinny. I love you, Vinny. Yo, calm down, Asteroid. Calm down. I bet there aren't any left. But I better be going. I've got a lot to accomplish. I'm like you. Smell you later. All right, so he's gonna leave. So I could go and battle all the trainers in here and make my way up to those steps, but I'm gonna wait till I have the, uh, the scope lens. That's what it's called, right? I haven't played this in a while. The scope lens, I believe, so we can see the ghost. I'm gonna wait for that. For now, what I'm gonna do is make my way to Celadon City. So here we are on Route 8. So let's battle you. What a key. Okay, let me restart there. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Uh, a Mankey. Cute, fluffy, and round? I, is that what the adjectives were? I don't know. But you're gonna send out a Curlia. And I need to go heal. Uh, but I think a Rock Throw will kill you. Rock Throw, yes. Wish Cash. Wish Cash is coming in. Uh, I'm gonna go out to... Let's go out to Angela and take down this Wish Cash. Uh, Lock on. I forgot that I have the choice band on. I gotta take that off, Angela. Uh, let's go out to... Uh, let's go out to Kathleen. And let's use a low kick. I feel like you're fat. Just keep using low kick. Beautiful. You're gonna die. And let's go heal. That's what I need to do. First things first, I'm the realist. Second thing, I gotta go heal. Alright, now let's make our way over here. And let's battle you. But first, I'm gonna put Kristen in the front so we can train her up a bit. You have a Haunter at level 24. It's Battle of the Ghosts. Uh, to which case, I am going to use... Nightshade. We're both using Nightshade. This is lit. Alright, his Nightshade's doing more because he's at a higher level. So I'm going to switch out now and go over to Asshole. And you're using Curse. And I'm going to use Confusion. And you're going to die. Rhyhorn! What's up, Rhy? Oh my god, we're still being affected by the Curse. Angela... Let's go for a roar beam. You're dead. And we defeat Esteban. Now I should probably go heal again. Better safe than sorry in a Nuzlocke, ladies and gentlemen. I got my beard nice and trim today. I decided to keep the beard. I know in the last episode I was talking about if I'm gonna, you know, get a mustache or get a goatee. But I decided, you know what, let's just let's trim it up nice, get that blade on there, make it nice and clean, crisp. I think it looks really good right now. I'm gonna try my best to keep growing it out. Now I can get an encounter here on Route 8, which is exciting. Here's a shuckle. Uh, let's use a Nightshade. 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 And we defeated a Shuckle! There you go, Kristen! Kristen, uh, I mean, this person that we're battling is about to use a Sneasel. Going out to Pyro, we're gonna use an Ember. Sneasel's gonna go for a quick attack. I have way too many cups of high-quality H2O here. Yo, I can't wait for Pyro to evolve. 
That is gonna be redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Here comes a Kingler, aka Big Meaty Claws. And I'm gonna go out to Kathleen. Take out, take down this Kingler. Kathleen is putting in nothing but the finest of work. Vice Grip, that's fine. I still need to check out Chris, uh, not Kristen, Vivian's moveset. I gotta go do that. First, let me kill this Kingler. Now, let me check out, not the moveset, but the stats. So, you have the Chlorophyll ability, which raises speed and sunshine, which is pretty cool. Uh, kind of mixed up stats. The attack is really low, which is unfortunate for a Marowak. The defense is sky high, though, which is really awesome. Special attack is pretty good. So, you're more of a defensive beast, uh, but your special defense is horrendous. So, you can take physical hits really well. Uh, your special attack. We need to give you some special attacking moves. I need to get some better TMs. That's what I need to do. Can you battle me? Okay! Du okay! Double battle, and it's a Pineco and a Mewtwo. This Pineco has self-destruct. I'm pretty fucked right now. Um... Alright, I'm switching out Kristen for Angela. And I'm gonna let Kathleen use a low kick on the Mewtwo, because I feel like Mewtwo is pretty fat. Uh, but then again, Mewtwo is a psychic type, so I probably should have switched out. But that does do a good amount of damage. That means Mewtwo is very fat. So you're gonna go for a rapid spin on Kathleen. Uh, Mewtwo is gonna go for Mist. That's fine. Alright, so now let's go for an Aurora Beam on the Pineco. And let's go for another low kick on the Mewtwo. So Aurora Beam is definitely gonna take out the Pineco. Which is good. It does not. Okay, but the low kick should do a good amount of damage on the Mewtwo. Do not self-destruct, Pineco. Good. Okay, we're doing okay. Angela should be able to eat that up. Mewtwo's going to confusion on Kathleen. Oh my god, no, no. Oh my- Kathleen! 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 Eat it up! Oh my goodness! That was amazing. Kathleen gets a cookie for that one. I'm gonna make fresh cookies and, and give one to Kathleen because that was fantastic. That was amazing, that was great, that low kick's gonna kill the Mewtwo. And we're doing great in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. And my team is looking good. Our team is looking good. We're all in this together, baby. We're all in this together. Do you, uh, I need to go heal. How many poke, can I get great balls in Lavender Town? That is the question. Let's, uh, let's double check if I can get great balls in here. How you doing, sir? I can get great balls. Let's get 25 great balls and let's sell some Pokeballs because let's sell 10 Pokeballs. I know that won't give us that much money, but I really I don't need 35 Pokeballs. I'm probably not going to use those. I'm going to start using great balls and ultra balls now. Um, so I can get an encounter here. So you have a Growlithe at level 19. I am going to go for a. Let's see if Chrissing can take you down. Let's go for a Nightshade. You're leering me. Roaring me out to Pyro. Ember, you're gonna die. Beautiful. Next up is a Pseudo Wudo. Uh, I'm gonna go out to Kathleen. And I'm gonna use a low kick. And that is a dead Pseudo Wudo. Rest in peace, Steven. I miss ya. Kathleen is trying to learn Rage. I will not teach Kathleen Rage. Next up is a Starmie. Gonna go back out to Kristen. And switch out now. Go over to Asshole. And let's go for a Rock Throw. Another Rock Throw. Another Rock Throw. Oh my god, can we land a rock throw? Thank you. Can we land one more rock throw? Can we land one more rock throw? Can we land a rock throw? Yes. Kristen glows grows to level, I think it's at 18. Yes, 18. Let's heal up and let's chill with the speed up button because I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, super potion. Heal up. And now let's go for a rock throw because this will be, ah, will, wait, will it be super effective or is ground super? Can we connect? Okay. Okay, I think ground is super effective against electric types, not rock, but I just wanted to see. I sped up too fast and couldn't even realize it. Next up is a Gyarados. Uh, let's go out to Kathleen. I feel like Gyarados is pretty heavy, so we're going to go for a low kick. Let's see how much damage that does. Uh, not a lot because it's not very effective. Let's go out to... I really got nothing... I mean, Asshole could probably take down this Gyarados pretty well. Uh, you became confused. Let's heal up that Paralysis. And we can't because I have no Paralyzed Heals. Uh, which is annoying. So let's go for a Confusion right off the bat and see if we can connect. One more Confusion. Come on. Come on. There you go, Asshole. That a boy. Alright. Or that a girl because you don't have a gender, right? 
Uh, where does it say gender? Oh, at the top. Yeah, you don't have a gender. Okay. One more time. Let's go heal. One more time. Let's go heal. Let's go heal. Let's go heal. Let's go heal. I might need to take out Tentacool, aka Brianna, to get a new encounter here. There should be grass, though, along, along Route 8 that I can access, right? There is not. So, yeah, we're going to go have to grab... We're going to go have to grab Brianna for that, but I'm going to wait till the end of the episode. Another! A d look at this! Another surprise visit from Big Meaty Claws. That might need to be the name of this episode. Okay, Kecleon. It doesn't affect Kecleon. That was a powerful play right there. Coming out to Kathleen. Going to go for a karate chop. One more karate chop. You're going to die. Kingler's coming in. I'm staying in. Low kick. Are you heavy, Kingler? You're pretty heavy. Entei! Okay, Entei is definitely fat. I'm letting Kathleen get some experience today. Bite shouldn't do that much damage to me. You're definitely fat. That does not do as much as I would have hoped, but I'm going to keep using the low kick. Because I think we could take down this Entei. And Entei has a powerful sprite in this generation, man. That is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful, like, white mane coming off his back. The back of his head. That is badass. Uh, but yeah, like I said... I always say, oh, let's chill with the speed up button. And as I'm saying that, I'll probably be using the speed up button. But this is going to get Kathleen to level 29, which is nice. But once Kathleen gets to level 30, I will stop training her as much. And I will try to train up the other Pokemon in my squad. I'm very surprised that in this lock, I haven't had to do grinding more than once so far. And we're on, what, episode 13? So, which it's pretty, pretty wild. In Glaze, we were grinding all the time, man. It was fucking annoying. But we're doing good right now without grinding. I'm liking that. If I don't have to grind, I won't grind. But if there's a situation where I feel like I have to grind, like right before we battled Brock, I felt completely necessary. Like, listen, this is the first gym. I have two Pokemon. I got to grind right now. But now we have a full team of six. We have a Pokemon in the PC chilling. We're about to get another encounter. We're good right now. I don't think we have to grind yet. So I'm going to hold off on the grinding. Here's a shelter. I'm going to go out to... Let's let Kathleen get to level 30. And then we will stop training her. Let's go. Are you heavy? You're not that heavy. Let's go for a seismic toss. That'll do more damage. Another seismic toss. Down goes the shelter. Kristen gets to level 19. Let's go out to Vivian now. Uh, let's go for a headbutt. Let's see how much damage that does. Not a lot at all. So let's switch out and go over to Angela. And let's go for an Aurora Beam. And you're going to die. Beautiful. We take down you. Um, who else can we battle? We gotta battle all of you guys. So I'm gonna speed through these battles. I know I just said, uh, I'm not gonna speed through them, but I have dinner in, like, a half hour, and I need to make it to dinner, so I'm gonna have to get to Celadon City pretty quickly. What am I battling right now? A side! Let's go out to asshole, and let's hit you with a rock throw. Beautiful. Next up is a blaze skin. Gonna stay in, hit you with a rock throw. How did you survive? And here's a Lugia! Oh my god, rock throw. And another rock throw. And another rock throw. And we defeat the Lugia. That is beautiful. Why do these random girls have Lugias? Uh, you can live, right? Let's, let's, uh, let's not risk it, actually. Uh, let's go out to Kathleen. And Angela comes out. Fine by me. Aurora Beam. Okay. Mareep. Let's go out to Kathleen. Because I want Kathleen to get to level 30. Can we stop with the paralysis, please? Yo, I am, like, visualizing my dinner right now, and I'm getting so excited about how hungry... You know when you're just doing something, but in the back of your mind, you're like, I'm hungry as a motherfucker right now. I don't know why I just healed two times in a row, because that's how I roll. That's how I roll, because my name is Vinny. That's how I roll a red ice. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to risk it and stay in. Fuck it. You're going for curse? That's fine. Nightshade. If I can kill this red ice... You're really raising your attack here. But that's okay. I'm gonna try my best to kill you with Kristen. Okay. Do curse one more time. And we're go- Okay, that's only gonna do 26 hit points. Oh no, that's me! I thought the damn Regice was using Nightshade. Silly me. Kristen just took down a Regice. And that almost got her up two levels. That is awesome. Kristen has a powerful backspin. Okay, so let's go finish battling the rest of the people on this route, and then we can go grab Rihanna. And there's one more person, which is nice. Here's a, another, another big meaty claw. So many big meaty claws, so many so little time. All right, Kristen, you can handle this, girl. You can handle. Kristen's putting in the finest, the finest of work, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes a slow king. Uh, let's go to Kathleen. 
You're definitely fat. Not as fat as I would have thought. Okay, one more. Low kick. Talos coming in. Let's stay in and then let's switch out and go over to Angela and let's use an Aurora Beam. And you're dead. A wall rain. Let's go out to you because I want you to evolve. Ooh, you could probably kill this wall rain, actually. Uh, let's go for a super potion. And let's go for a low kick now. You're definitely fat. Oh, it's a one in KO! Wall rain must have been hefty. He must have been one hefty motherfucker. All right, so that's beautiful. Again, guys, I really apologize for the speed up button, but it was either I sped through all these battles and made it to Selenon, or there was no episode for today. And I and I've really I've been flaky with the uploads lately, and I apologize. I think what I'm gonna do because I'm I'm in school right now, as you guys know, and I've been super busy with so many projects this semester. I think I might go back to the every other day upload schedule, like we did in the beginning of Crystal. So that means that I will, there's no like set thing that I'll upload on Monday, Tuesday, whatever. It's, it's just every other day. So I uploaded today and today's Saturday. So that means I'll upload again on Monday, then Wednesday, then Friday, then Sunday, then Tuesday, then Thursday. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to just keep going like that, I think. Let me know if you guys like that. If not, I'll try to work out a different schedule. But I think you guys will be cool with the every other day because that'll mean four episodes a week, four new episodes a week. Of Fire Red, and then I'll also upload other content as well. I want to start uploading Mario Maker again because I haven't uploaded Mario Maker, and I said I was going to upload more Mario Maker. I got to get my new Geometry Dash episode up again on this Tuesday. Geometry Dash is definitely going to be every Tuesday. I apologize for missing that this Tuesday, but I was just bombarded with assignments and work, which is very annoying. Um, what I'm going to do now is heal up. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want to see an every other day upload schedule like we used to have? If not, let me know what you guys suggest, and I'll take your suggestions into consideration. So really quickly, I'm just going to move Kathleen into box one. Grab Brianna so we can cut through that tree, and let's go get us a Route 8 encounter. And I really want a legendary Pokemon. I want a legendary Pokemon, and I want to nickname that legendary Pokemon after one of you guys, and I want it to be an exciting event, damn it. So let's cut down this tree. And to conclude this episode, let's get a Lugia. Okay, now, technically, I don't have to catch the Sudowoodo. I don't, because I already caught one. But, I think the right thing to do right now would be to catch the Sudowoodo, re-nickname him Steven, because ladies and gentlemen, it is the return of Steven. It is the return of Broccoli Hands. So, let's try to catch the Sudowoodo. Let's go for a Nightshade. Oh, Kristen's gonna put in the finest of work right now to catch the Sudowoodo, because Nightshade can't crit. We know it's going to do 21 hit points of damage. And now we can try to catch... That looks like it did more, but I could be wrong. All right, so now let's just go for a Great Ball. I am so hyped right now that the return of Steven might happen. Let's catch the Sudowoodo. One. Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo, I have to be at dinner in, in, in like 27 minutes. Stay in the damn ball, Sudowoodo. Stay in the damn ball. One. Two. Three! Woohoohoo! The return of Steven, ladies and gentlemen! And I'm excited about this. I know Steven is gonna be hyped about this. And it was meant to be. Look at this. We got another. We got a male Sudowoodo, just like the last one. So let's re nickname you, Steven. And let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see Steven come back on the squad. So let me just make sure I spell that right. Yes, I did. Steven! Steven is going to the PC! And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we can now make our way to Celadon City. And we can wrap things up in today's episode, which is exciting. And I'm really happy that I got this uploaded for you guys. I'm just, I'm trying to stay my best, stay cons- Try my best to stay consistent for you guys. And I think an every other day upload schedule won't bombard me with class and everything. And I think I will be able to stick to that schedule. So again, let me know if you guys are feeling that. And what route- This is Route 7, so we can get another encounter. But I am going to save that for the next episode. So, like I said in the previous episodes, if you guys want me to nickname a Pokemon after you, just leave a comment and you could potentially get selected. So, I'm going to open up the next episode with getting an encounter in Route 7. And what I'm going to do really quickly is just come here to the PC. And I'm going to grab Kathleen, bring her back on the team. And you guys let me know if you want to see Steven or Brianna 
back on the team. Leave your suggestions for, like, the perfect squad right now. Out of all the Pokemon we have, who are the six Pokemon that you want to see on the team? And I will take that into consideration, and we will figure out what we're going to do. Chances are this team is going to stay like this, and I'll probably add Steven back. I just don't know who I'm going to swap out for Steven, but we will see what happens. I just want to hear your suggestions. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. In the next episode, we're going to get a new encounter. We're going to explore Celadon. The hype is real. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody don't forget to comment to rate and to subscribe this is original 151 i love you guys happy valentine's day tomorrow and i'll see you guys next time